It's the final few seconds before the lights go out and the race to the podium begins. You know this battle will be won off the track as well as on it. You've studied your tactics, anticipated every move like a grand master. You've researched and analyzed, modified and fine-tuned to perfection. You have honed your instincts to give you an edge over your rivals. Your drivers focused, your team ready. The championship in the balance. First past the checkered flag, the goal. Epic victory or ultimate failure. Shout out to Marco Pedrano and Alfredo Jr. for being a part of our channel memberships and all our channel members join memberships. Welcome back F1 Manager family to another F1 Manager video and it's the opening round for the Community Choice Italian Grand Prix. So we're going to be getting our opening round done. Uh, but before we get into that, let's get into the asset trading, see what we get there. Alright, so we got Blinker, Lindo, and Extreme G. So it's another day of things that won't be able to upgrade for the asset trading. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Lindo. Though it's still far away, uh, I'm gonna go with that. His Extreme G at level 6 is really not any good. I would just be upgrading it to help with my season score. All right, remember to subscribe to the channel for all your F1 Manager content and all your latest information. Also remember to leave a like on the video. All right, so we're gonna be jumping into the opening round. This is the tune that I'm currently using. Uh, I'm testing it to see how it will perform in a GP events and I'm using Kimi and Hamilton. As usual, I want to see the performance of this tune in the GP events. And let's go. So I'm keen to see if I'm going to suffer a breakdown and what the rival reliability would have been. I'm kind of moving back to running low reliability tunes. Alright, so 3.8 for qualifiers, it was dry after all, going into a wet race. This app, we have found out after months of me talking about it in my videos that makes no sense you have a higher reliability than your rival and yet still you suffer a breakdown nonetheless nonetheless so it's clear to us that reliability is just random and there's nothing you can do to prevent it i will here using a little bit of boost let's cut down I'm going to be saving those tires and some of that fuel. This track is this. Alright, so we're going to go with hard tires in the middle. As this track is one of those long ones. It's going to be wet in three minutes, so I might go to hard, might go back to soft tires and boost and then we'll come back to wet tires at the end. I think we should be able to boost for two laps and then come back to wet tires. Alright, so putting our go to pit harder, so we're going to go back to softs then, since it's going to be... wet 
we have a little more tires saved up than the rival, so we're gonna boost right around here. Let's boost Kimmy. And we'll do the same for Lewis. Nice pull up there on Albon from where Hamilton. So we got back out in front of the rival with our Hamilton, but we didn't manage to catch up to the rival's Kimi. So now we're going to be boosting for two laps. Hopefully Hamilton can pick up. Don't look like we're going to be able to come back to wet tires to finish as planned it based off of the time. So we might have to go back to soft tires here. As it looks like there is no, we're, we're not going to be, be making it to wet tires at all. We could have come back to hard tires and boosted the finish, but I'm going to come back to softs and conserve. You know what? Let me boost. Let me boost here. So if I if I can get my drivers back in front, then I can go back to pit here. Since we have the fresher tires, we can go back to pit in front of the rival. Yes, we did. All right, so I'm gonna go back to pit now. Let's go back to pit again in front of the rival so we have fresher tires to boost to the finish then the rival does now we can cut down to conserve here comes the rival pushing we're just gonna try and save as much as we can and then we'll push when he's close, like now. Push now. Hold him off, Hamilton. Good driving from Lewis there. Now for the final lap. Looks like we have fuel to make it to the final lap. To boost to the entire final lap. Hopefully we can create some distance and hold that distance created. And hold this one three. We should have fuel. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. So we just need our drivers now to hold them off. Great race, bro. Well done. 46 points for us. Yeah. And that's what you call adapting on the fly. <laughs> So we made that extra stop because he was going for the uh, 332. So look at that extra stop right in there. So we get those fresh tires to do get the job done. Alright. So we got his reliability was higher at 40. Our reliability was lower at 30. And we did not suffer any breakdowns. Let's see how much race we can go through uh, without suffering a breakdown. All right, here we go now for Austria, the Red Bull ring. This is nine laps. Dry qualifiers. I think it's a dry race as well. All right, so four, nine in qualifiers. And we're going to go for four laps of conserve and then we're gonna go three laps of boost two laps of boost to the finish all right so the rival did not start off with any boost so it's likely a bot 
Hutch has been trying their very best to make the bots, the AI rivals, stronger. <clears throat> uh, for what reason, I'm not sure. Probably they said that the win rate against the AIs were really high. Let's cut down there and cut down here. Uh, so they're trying to limit that to somewhat so you don't really know that you're racing against a bot. Don't know why, but it is what it is. But there are just some tell signals that you can definitely look at and know that it's a bot rival. And it seems to me that the bot rivals are able to do a lot more <laughs> than a real player can. So now it would be like your worst nightmare to go up against a bot instead of going up against a real player. Because bots are going to be doing everything possible to win and the game is going to aid them to win. So you'll have to be really, really putting in the work to beat those bots. Alright. Come on, Hamilton, get in there. Alright. We're back out in 7, 8... Back out in 8th. So we're back in 2nd and 8th place. And we're in our boost phase now. Just need Hamilton to make up some positions. Pick up on those drivers that have not gone to pit. We're about to pull up on them. Kimi already pull up on the rival Kimi. Alright, so this one looks good so far. We just need Hamilton to get by Vettel here and make his way closer to the rivals. Get around, there we go. Alright, now we're going to try and make our way closer up to the rivals, Kimi. We're going to be going back to pit now. Kimi is just skipping through. And there we go, suffering a breakdown. And the only reason why we suffered a breakdown here is because we're racing with a bot. And the game wants the bot to have a good chance of winning. And the game has realized that the bot is not going to win this one by a long shot. So he suffered a breakdown. Wow, look at that breakdown time. Seven seconds. Wow. Wow. Nonetheless, we're going to still win. Come on, Hamilton, get around. Yes. You see, the bot did not go back to pit at all. He's running those hard tires to the end, so it's a 1-3 for us. Let's boost to the finish with Kimi. And we'll just continue to conserve with Hamilton. So if we did not suffer a breakdown that cost us 7 seconds in the pits, uh, we probably would have caught up to that Kimi. And got second place. But yeah, it is what it is. So we have one breakdown so far in testing this tune. The tune is running really well. As you can see, the drivers are performing really well. Uh, it's just that you're at a risk, higher risk of staying longer in the pits when you do suffer a breakdown. And the game is going to be forcing you those breakdowns because of your bot rivals. Alright. Nice tune. 92 power. Alright, here we go for the next race on Yas Marina Circuit. Supposed to be a dry race, so dry qualifiers. Qualifiers looking pretty decent. Alright, fifth in 
right? Uh, Hamilton out qualifying Albon in this one. Guess his penalty wasn't as high, so he's just one car ahead. All right, so this is a real player we're going up against. As you can see, he started off with a boost. Only real players does that. Come on, we shouldn't have gotten blocked there. But, oh well. And Hamilton lost some positions as well. So Kimi got blocked, losing some positions. Hamilton losing some positions. All right, Kimi regained some positions here. We're going to cut him down. He can serve for two laps, three laps. Rival looking like he's going to be going back to pit in the second here. Boosting. Trying to create some distance. Guess taking himself away. <laughs> Pulling away from us. Now he decides to cut down. If he goes for three laps, he's going to run out of tires. So we would love for him to go for three laps. But I think he's going to go for two. Wow, he's going for it. All right, so he's going for three laps with Kimi and doing two with Albon. So we're going to get by Albon here. He went back to hard tires. Interesting. Will he be going back to hard tires with his Kimi? Interesting that he goes to hard tires there. Is he going to be conserving? Look at that. Our car just got stuck on the tarmac. Come on. Right, let's boost Kimi into pit. We're going to stock a little here. But it's all good. Never this game wants you to lose. You just find yourself losing and you don't know how you're losing. Because our drivers are just losing positions left, right, and center. And you don't know how they're losing those positions. But it is what it is. Might see a suffer breakdown as well. And we have lost so much already. Right, let's keep going. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Hopefully we can make up some of these positions. Kimi up a third. Hamilton stuck in the back. Unable to overtake. Valtteri Bottas. Right, let's go back to pit to hard tires here. You know what? Let me go back to softs. Might be boosting for two laps and then going back again. Hamilton is just not having a good race today <laughs> in this one. He's just killing us 32 points. It's nowhere competitive for Champions Division. Kimi now gets stuck on his Red Bull for Stappen. Cut down there. Cut Lewis down there. So we can go to the finish. Thirty nine. Well, if we get at least 40 points, then that would be good for us. Should be able to boost Kimi from here to hold off Albon. Cutting back down there, boost back up here. Cutting back down there, boost back up here. Cut 
And that should do that for Kitty. And boost back up Hamilton. Put him down there. Two percent tires, one percent boost across the line, and that's 39. All right, so we'll take our 39 percent. As you know, for the final round, we're not going to use Hamilton for this track at all. We're going to go with uh, Albon, unless we get Hamilton up to level six by tomorrow. But yeah, going for Albon for the final round. All right, here we go now on the spa. Important the noise in the background if you guys are hearing uh, noise in the background the environment is currently very noisy it's important that if you guys are hearing it fort and tent at least we didn't get out of the top 10 See if this bot rival starts off with a boost. <laughs> so another bot rival here. Let's cut down there and cut down here. Follow my bot rival around a little. Then we'll take the positions. Let's boost down the hill. Both our drivers. Picked up a few. Cut back down. Put in our go to pit orders. Who's up ahead? Alright, so these two up ahead should be going to pit. We're gonna boost from around here. Boost from there. See if we can cut down some of the time. Hamilton getting on the inside there. See if we can cut down some of that distance. And look at that. Hamilton suffering a breakdown. Why did we suffer a breakdown again against a bot? Because the game wants the bot to win. And they're going to do everything in their powers to make that bot viable six seconds in pit nonetheless we're still going to beat this bot rival so they they can give us a lot break a lot of breakdowns who really cares we're still better than your ai rivals hutch so you can kill us with breakdown all you want we're still going to win Let's go Hamilton, putting our go to pit orders. Now to create some distance, so our bot rival will never catch us back. One would wonder why they are trying to make the bots better than real players, but who knows really probably this they just want to make the game a little bit harder for our players maybe we're getting back out in fort we should have gotten out in fort there you see they even slowed us down in the pit to let the rival get by, but he's going to have to go back to pit with that Albon. While well, we're just going to be boosting to the end. I'm going to try and catch up to Hamilton and squeeze by him with my Hamilton. But there he is right there. Kimmy's good for first. We just need to squeeze by this Hamilton 
As Albon is gonna go to pit, so he's out of the race. Come on, get by that Hamilton. Inside now. Yes. Yes, we got him. So 46 points for us. Let's boost. Cut down. Create some distance there. Alright, Mr. Bot, well done. So 46 points for us in this one. We'll take that. Need some more of those 46, 47s after that 39 that we just got. After our drivers were just losing positions one after the other. Don't know why. We're on boost, they're losing positions. We're on conserve, they're losing positions. Makes no sense to me, but it is what it is. Let's get it done. Alright, so this is the final race of the video. So let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing so far in the event. If you made it to this portion of the video, use code word Barcelona to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. <laughs> really appreciate you guys for all your support. Alright. Uh, so, 4 and 6 in qualifiers, looking good. We're going to go for it. Let's see if this is a bot rival. Going for hard tires at the start. No boost at the start. So, high chance it's a bot rival. And if it was you or me who started at the front of the pack on hard tires and we did not boost, we would have lost up to nine positions on the first corner but the AIs are so good that they can start off on hard tires without boosting and maintain their positions what interesting times we're in in this game all right let me stop whining and get to racing Alright, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try and go four laps with both my drivers. Let me see if they can go for four. If they pass the line at 45%, they can go for four. Hamilton is normally the only one to worry about. Kimi normally can get it done. It's just Hamilton. Alright, so he's on the straightaway at 45. So he crossed the line at 44. Kimi crossed at 45 as it's going to be 25% per lap however you get that 5% leeway at the end so you'll see what I what I mean alright so Hamilton is not going to make it so we'll have to go to pit with him now and then we're going to boost him in and then we're going to let Kimi go Kimi just at 25 now we're going to let Kimi go and then we're going to come back to hard tires with Kimi Alright, so we're going to boost Hamilton now for two laps and then come back to pit. And as we continue to conserve with Kimi to hard tires, to so one stop with Kimi here. As you can see, he just made it right back to pit with 1% of tires. Now out as he's going into the pits. And he's not going to be stopping again for the entire race. So he'll be boosting to the finish. Here comes Lewis, making his way up. All right, so we should get by that Kimi with boat or driver when he decides to go to pit. It should be this lap. Hopefully, let's see. Let's go, Kimi. Hold that inside. There we go. Nice, beautiful. Come on, Hamill. Yes, Hamilton, first place. Putting our gold pit orders now. And Kimi should get second place. Yes. Cut down Kimi here and kind of use him to slow down the rival as Hamilton creates some distance to go to pit. Cut Hamilton down so he does not run out of tires before going into pit. And we're just going to use Kimi here 
to be a master defender and slow the rival down, go up, boost him up, give support, cut back down, kind of slow him down so Hamilton can get out of pit, now on boost, before they come around and now we can boost back Kimi out and that's a 1-2 race and that's the reason why these bots will never win real players or they will never be like real players because they do not have real time adjustments and techniques they should just be there so we can win and get perfect square against them all the time makes no sense trying to make them better or trying to block or use them to let other players lose Hutch. So think about that. Whoever come up came up with that strategy. Ha! <laughs> now we're getting that breakdown, thinking that we're going back to pit. No, we're not. Great win. Great race, Mr. Bot. Well done. You'll never see a bot do that. <laughs> Oh man. This is just stupidness. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this video. We should have a race crate. Let's go get our race crate. Remember to use code word Barcelona to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. Really appreciate you guys for all your support, and I am 100% sorry for all my ranting <laughs> in this one. Alright, hopefully these videos help you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's get this race crate. Another race crate, no bucks in there. Alright guys, peace.